Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. I hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday thus far. And so in this video, we'll be looking at what is currently going on for the Caribbean as well as what is expected, especially in terms of the rainfall totals. But we'll also be focusing on that Gulf flow that is developing off the US. And so that is likely to produce quite a bit of rainfall along some of those states as we head into the latter part of this week. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update okay and as we return to this satellite imagery here we can definitely see that there is quite a bit of shower and thunderstorm activity right now in the vicinity of the gulf of mexico and also take a look at that over into the bahamas as well there is some activity now that is in association with the front that is in the region so uh going back to the gulf here we can see that we have all this developing and a trough is in the area but a low pressure area is expected to develop along that trough so uh, there is going to be quite a bit of shower and thunderstorm activity taking place and then this is eventually going to be moving inland as we progress into the latter part of this week and so we'll be looking at the rainfall totals expected very shortly but as we look at the Caribbean now we can see that there isn't much happening across the region we have of course some activity down in parts of Venezuela but as we take a look at other areas we just see some uh, normal cloudiness passing by nothing too intense nothing major we've got a lot of dry conditions that are helping to suppress any shower and thunderstorm activity that is trying to develop but looking at the rainfall totals that the euro is expecting so of course we have the different colors that indicate different amounts of rainfall and that is measured in inches so we have the different colors over to the right side of your screen with the values beside them to show how much rainfall they represent so looking at this map we can see that between now and friday the most rainfall activities likely along the greater Antilles, mainly uh, Cuba and Hispaniola and in the vicinity of the southern Caribbean. So uh, within the northern Caribbean it is likely that that would be induced by the front. For the rest of the region maybe just your usual showers nothing too intense or major is expected. We're not seeing any staggering totals uh, between now and Friday. So nothing much to be concerned about. Looking at what the GFS is showing something that is pretty much similar to that uh, where we have the highest totals being seen in parts in the vicinity of the southern Caribbean and also for parts of the northern Caribbean mainly for Hispaniola and Cuba. So nothing major is on the horizon for the next few days. Now as we take a look at the rainfall totals expected for uh, the Gulf of Mexico though so let's go ahead and move on to that and for the GFS model here we can definitely see that the highest total is expected in the south southeastern part of the state of Louisiana so uh, as the system is going to be lingering by an eventually moving in and it's going to be carrying all that moisture with it and dumping all of those rains along the state. So we see that Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, Florida are all expected to be impacted by this system as we head into the next couple of days. And then we have the Euro model being in agreement with that. So highest total is expected to be in southeastern Louisiana. Uh, the models are in agreement with that. And please remember guys, in the event of very heavy rainfall, please do not take any on necessary risks and stay safe so this is not something expected to become a tropical cyclone or subtropical cyclone it's not marked by the national hurricane center however it takes less than a tropical cyclone to do some damage so a lot of that heavy rainfall along with those strong winds at times and even that risk of tornadic activity so uh definitely something interesting up ahead guys so please take all the necessary precautions and stay safe i'm just reading reiterating that and uh, that is pretty much it for this update video so uh, if you have any questions feel free to leave them down in the comments and you can also share your thoughts there and of course remember to always be otherwise